Snooze TV is brought to you by the Interbike International Trade Expo and the Health and Fitness Business Show. Hi, I'm Teresa Noyan here with Trends and Topics, and we're talking to John Bodwin about the fitness technology and how it's entering all of the equipment. We're taking another look in this continuing series. We have seen the iPad coming onto the equipment, and it's a wonderful application for a lot of different reasons. John, can you tell us a little bit about this technology and why it's on these bikes and how it started? Well, you know, the great thing about uh, both the, the iPod Touch, the iPad, is that uh, so many consumers now, this is part of their life. And so to have the ability to take what you use in your everyday life and to put it onto your bike and to not only provide the content, but to also track your workout is just uh, a huge step forward. So this, you've got the iPhone. But then over here, I can see we have the iPad. So these were introduced, what, about a year ago, right? So yeah, a little over a year ago, uh, we introduced our app for the iPad. And, and essentially, this allows the exerciser not only to see the content, but to get real-time interactive feedback. So it pulls in your heart rate, uh, it can pull in the cadence, and, uh, and and essentially track every aspect of your workout. But here you've got this person. So if this was a live operating model, which unfortunately it's not right now, this person could actually be coaching you. So you've got a personal trainer here right in front of you giving a professional workout. Yeah, exactly. Well, spinning's always been based on the class format. Right. And so for us to be able to deliver the same great type of training and the same expert coaching to the home market is really something that, that the technology just wasn't there. And now that it is, uh, consumers at home can get the same great coaching that they would get going to a club. And now spinning has got something else going on the newest uh, operating system here. We're going to be seeing what they call AirPlay. This is even pretty schmancy. Tell me just real brief a little bit about this because I see the same thing here that I see up there. Well, this is uh, this is a great leap forward. So, uh, you know, obviously uh, working out with uh, an, an iPhone or a smaller screen is, is uh, it's pretty tough to see sometimes. The iPad obviously is a huge step forward in uh, providing a little bigger space. This is and, bigger. Uh, yeah, exactly. And, and now having the ability to pull content from your device and put That's it up onto your television at home uh, clearly changes the game. It's no more DVDs, no more videos. Uh, it's just straight content when you want it. Right? Mean, meaning that if someone has the iPhone and the app, they can also project that up there so they really don't have to look at a little tiny screen either. Yeah, exactly. So it, it really eliminates the need to have, uh, you know, even an iPad. If you have an iPhone, you can stream it straight onto your TV. So it huge sounds step to me like this, as John says, is a huge step forward as we take another look at technology and how it's coming into equipment and spinning, of course, is using this intimate uh, educational opportunity. We'll get back to you soon. This is Teresa Knoyan at the Health and Fitness Business Show.